Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse review and thoughts. So, I'm going to start by telling you this was a movie that I absolutely loved. This video will have some jokes and I will get into some serious topics. And, yeah, so I realize this video is long. I'm going to do what I can to make it worth your time. I start the video with a review where if I spoil anything, I will verbally warn before I do so and hold up an index finger until I'm done with spoilers. You can mute and skip ahead and choose to see me lower my index finger. Please note, I will not warn before spoilers for the first film. And as soon as I end the review itself, the, the yeah, the rest of the video will have lots of spoilers, including discussing the ending. So, uh, Okay, here we go. Yeah, this yeah, this is rated PG and yeah, that makes a lot of sense. There are definitely times where the the yeah, I don't usually watch movies that are PG. I usually watch PG-13 or higher and there's definitely times where good. But but at the same time, it actually you're you're not going to believe me if you haven't already watched it. There's actually times this movie is scary. Like, not not scary past what, like, PG, you know, not, it doesn't go further than that, but that that rating allows for, but it does actually, some of the time, get dark and even scary, and I'm, I'm here for it. Now, the... But but yeah, and, and it's absolutely, you know, you can, I would say this movie has something for basically anyone, like, no matter your your age or gender identity, or, everyone will find something to absolutely love about this. Actually, to tell you what, how about, put picture in your mind the most, like, obscure incarnation of Spider-Man. Not, not like, the rogues gallery, but Spider-Man himself or herself. You know, p picture it in your mind. Okay, yes, they're almost definitely in this movie. They might only be there really, really briefly, but there's, yeah... You know, the, 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 it basically does feature, like, regardless of, you know, the, there's, you've got, you've got animals, animal Spider-Man incarnations, you've, you know, men, women, young, I don't know if, were there any that were old? Some, some were definitely, you know, up in, in years somewhat. There was a plus-sized one. The the you know there's a pregnant woman, African American, Indian, you know Miles is biracial. All just it's it's amazing how much you know love to see so much representation and diversity. Absolutely amazing. Now let's see the. Right, so I, uh, let's see, wow, I left in a lot of, right, there's even, there's actually, there is a disabled, I, I guess, spider woman, she sound, they sounded female, and, yeah, they, yeah, Absolutely love seeing so much representation. Now let's see. So so yes, the plot. When I'm gonna be quoting some of this from Wikipedia because that has it really well. When Miles Morales is unexpectedly approached by his best friend, love interest Gwen Stacy to complete a mission. Let's see. Um, yeah, they journey through the multiverse together, meet its protectors. A group of spider people known as the Spider Force. And yeah, I think that is there's there's more conflict from there, but I'm not going to go go into more detail 
I think more detail than that gets into spoiler territory. But yeah, the um, this is this is definitely if if you at all care about any incarnation of Spider-Man, I I urge you to watch this and watch it in a theater, watch it in a crowded theater like I did, because the just the crowd really makes it, you know, having it on a big screen and watching it with a couple dozen people, that's how to do it, you know, people, everyone was laughing at the jokes and hugging the seat at the, at the scary moments and going, yeah, whenever someone was like able to, uh, hold on, there's some lag, but it seems to still be getting everything. Okay, um, it should be able to, hmm, um, okay, this is, 